Right, so um, we've been doing some mods to our lighting, haven't we Steve? We have some electrical modification. So what did we have originally? Um, we had, um, this light comes on right, by a switch by the door, so it's like an entrance light, so if you hit the switch. So if you want to close the door, and then we can see the difference. So if you want to close the door so now. Is, I mean it's daylight outside but this is this is our and just our close this blind here. Nighttime lighting. Um and this will just show you the difference it can make. Um you don't have to spend a fortune on it, but you know, if you just improve your lighting it makes such a big difference I mean obviously this phone is designed to adjust um, itself in dark lit rooms so it probably won't look as dark as it actually was but That's, this would be night time ish um, and then we have this little one we by me one here. which doesn't as you can tell doesn't really shed much light and we've got light coming through the bedroom obviously because of the wind because of the curtains but this would be about it really for us yeah um so if you just want to put the lights on that you've done now so we can see the difference and then you can talk us through them all well this one is fairly dim um i just had those two lights in it you can see a bright but i've also put an led strip inside there and we'll probably replace it all at some point but for now that's not too bad when you just sat there and there's no point in replacing it because we've added other lighting so so that would have been on but as you can see if, if you're here you know you're in your own light straight away and all you've got is that to do any cooking on the hobs and washing up and stuff so it just wasn't bright enough so if you show us these strip so lights now added this which is, can be dimmed it also has a usb connector times two so it's got two usbs on there so you can connect your phones up if you sat there we added this one for this area this is a slightly different one this only has one usb but it can be dimmed it's actually shining button. in the camera do you want to push it post, post yeah. it that's better so if you press it and then hold it it will either brighten or dim depending on where you've left it so that's brightening and that's dimming and you can leave it with a blue so light So if you put on. it on full. Okay. So it starts to brighten. As you keep your finger on it, it goes to its brightest. So that can be used downwards to light up anything, table or anywhere. So that's before for somebody sat on this side. Uh, on top of that, we've got one the same as that one. Uh, sorry, one the same as that one here. And this has also got one USB, whereas that's got two and that's got one. So, so we're evenly spreading the USBs out for where we are. This has got a little pocket where me uh, other device may go um, that I'm going to add. Um, so that's that one. So that, that one pretty much lights up the cooker. That one lights up anywhere in the kitchen and you can move it around. You can point it down at anything. And that's the same, you hold it to dim it. I'll hold it to make it bright. There you go, that's going bright. And then you just tap it again to turn it off. Oh, if you um, put that back on, so, so we can see all the lights when they're all on. And so then that's them, that's that one, those two. Um, then your main ones. And, and the main ones are off this one. So if I just sit down here. Um, we're on, on. Wow. So over, <laughs> over all the other lights, that makes the most difference. Uh, it's just two five metre LEDs that come all the way around, partially into the bedroom a little bit, all the way around the, the roof of the van and stop at the secondary bed uh, above the driver's seat. Um, so that's that. I was toying with the idea of doing some along the floor as well. And you can now, um, change the mood with these, can't you? Yeah, you can change when we've got uh, When we're doing like anything that we don't want it to be a bit darker for. A movie night. On movie night or anything like that, we can change it to um, like a, I don't know, a red or a more 
red, and then that can oh, be dimmed. purple. That can be dimmed down a little bit. And that's like that's what it'd be like. Obviously, these spots would be switched off on a movie night, and then you can just brighten them back up by pressing the button again, and then flipping back to white. And all but they all work off this one little remote. So, how did you do those, Steve? One's wired into the cupboard light and the other one on this side is wired into a light like that that no longer exists. Um, but in there we've also got the little spot lamps on the far side like that one. But we've also got one of these type in the bedroom nearest to us and that's got two USBs in so we can plug our phones in in the bedroom. So these lights were two completely different sets? Yes. And you've now managed to get them to work off one remote? These work. That's what I was saying. So how have you managed to do that? Um, well, the both, the both sets are made by the same company, so they came with two remotes. Um, so basically when you plug them in, you have two sensors that are stuck to the ceiling here. You can use little black dots on the ceiling that you can see barely. Uh, and once you hold it long enough, it just communicates with both. So they do the same thing now. No matter what I do, I just point it in that direction. I can have them flashing. Not that you ever would. Not that I ever would. But you can get them, you can slow the speed down so it's like a gentle change. Um, okay. And then off is just one button for off, on is one button for on, white is straight away. And you can dim the white as well. The white, they're all dimmable. So you can dim these right quite down. But So is it hard to wire them in? How did you... Uh... Well, the 12 volts, so what I did was to come with like... Um, they come with a three pin plug and like a, uh, what you'd call like a, it reduces the thing from 240 to 12 volt for house use. But because our van is 12 volt, we'd, I just cut them off and bared the ends and wired them straight in. So that they actually powered all the time. They only switched on and off by this. Cool. So if you want to uh, open the blinds and everything, I can show everyone a closer look at your little lamps. Right, so I'm just showing you these two different ones. This one, both from um, eBay, but like Stu said, this one has got two USBs. No one actually see one. It's one of both sides. Oh, the other one's round that side, yeah. So they're opposite. Um, so with this one, whoever sat here, you know, it's handy to do two. And the other style that you can get, if you are more interested, this again is off eBay. So it depends which one you prefer, but this one only has one USB, which is where it's on the side nearest the cupboard. Oh yeah, so it's there. It just has one there. I suppose it depends which you prefer, and then obviously the one in the bedroom. That again, that has two, so it means that we can charge our phones at night when we go to bed. If I was to buy them all again. I would always buy the ones with two, for two reasons. One, you've got the additional USB, but two, they're easy to dim because you just turn in the back, up and down. Whereas these you have to kind of hold on to them and make sure it's either dimming or brightening. You can't always tell straight away. They're easier to see in the dark, whether they're dimming or not, but that one is just so much easier. You just turn the back of it. So again, how did you do the electrics on these? Was they easy to do? These are the same because they're 12 volt Because you didn't have electric there before, did you? Not no, replaced but something. there's an electric light inside the cupboard. And that now is connected into that. And also, so is this strip, it's connected in the same place. So they're both 12 volt and they're both connected to where the 12 volt lamp was. That one's a new one. So it's that replaced one. That is, that is run on a wire from that one. Okay. And that one has replaced one of those. One of those. So there was already two wires there, which is all you need. Which is all you need. So that's our update on the lighting so far.